Hey everyone, so today we're checking out three new chargers from Haymix. So there are three chargers, why are there four boxes? Well, actually this box here, the 65 watt box here, uh, is actually some travel adapters and I'll show you how they work in a minute. So all three chargers are what they call GAN fast chargers or gallium nitrite chargers. So these are smaller and more compact and they provide a lot more power than your standard regular chargers. Starting with the smallest box here, this is the 65 or actually 66 watt uh, gallium nitrite charger. So let's get this thing open. In the box you will find a USB-C to C cable and then you have the charger itself. Now it does have the US style prongs here which are retractable and it also comes with an Australian type adapter uh, which kind of just goes in like this and then locks in place. So the specs are down here. Uh, USB-C can give you a maximum output of 65 watts. The USB-A port can give you a maximum of 36 watts. So obviously if you have multiple devices connected, then the power is gonna get split between the devices, giving you a total combined output of up to 66 watts. So what's in these two larger boxes in the back here? They look almost exactly the same. Well, yeah, the box themselves look the same, but if you look at the markings on the side, we have a 100 watt charger on the left here, a black one. And then we also have a 120 watt charger in white on the right. So let's start with the 100 watt one, because I think this one is probably the one that most people would get and be interested in. So inside you have the black charger, pretty compact uh, for a 100 watt charger. And I like the outside design here. It's kind of texturized uh, with this stripes on the side and it's on both sides as well. And you have actually three USB-C ports and a USB-A port plus that charging LED at the top here, which is pretty good. And then of course you have the same uh, US prong. And then in the box, you also get the Australian adapter. So this thing here, which just hooks on to those prongs like so. And then you can use this in an Australian outlet. Also in the box uh, is the uh, USB-C cable. So it's a C to C cable there. And also it's got an extension cord, which is pretty good. Sometimes, you know, your plug, you know, might be a bit far away. Uh, you can actually use this like a laptop style charger with the extension cord, pretty cool. Now for the 120 watt charger here, this one is in white. Packaging is basically exactly the same. Inside you have the white charger. This looks a bit different. Uh, it's got a shiny part there. No texturized uh, lines on the pattern on the front. Uh, large 120 watt symbol down here and then Haymix logo down there. Uh, this one has two USB-C ports and two USB-A ports. So one less USB-C port, uh, but one additional USB-A port if that's what you're into. Uh, and also curiously, if you look down here, the specs, the maximum output of a single USB-C port, so let's say you're charging one high powered device, is actually only 100 watts. So it does say 120 watts, that's combined in total. So if you have a laptop that does take 120 watts, this won't give you the full 120 watts. It can give you 100 plus a little bit for maybe charging a phone or something. So the remainder of the accessories from the 120 watt charger is basically the same as the, uh, the black 100 watt one. You get your USB-C cable, you get your Australian adapter, and then you also get a extension cable uh, also with an Australian plug, which is pretty cool. So at the start of the video, there was a fourth box, which was this one here. It says 65 watt on it, but it's actually the travel adapter set. So in here, there'll be different style plugs that all fit into that slot uh, on these chargers. And let me, at the back here, there's a UK one, which is kind of stuck. All right, got it. Okay, so this is the UK style plug. This is an Australian style plug. And I think this is a EU style plug. Uh, but yes, they would fit uh, on any one of these chargers. So this is the 65 watt one, and it just slots in the same way as the included Australian one, like so. Now it's, it is black. Uh, I'm sure they have a white version, but yeah, they all fit like this. So if you're in the UK, this will fit perfectly. So Hemix did send me these chargers to check out. Now that doesn't mean we're not gonna test them thoroughly. This won't be a wonk video without some charging meter tests. So I have a 16 inch MacBook Pro here with the uh, M1 chip. Uh, and also I have a voltage or amp meter here. And we're gonna start by testing the 65 watt and using their included uh, charging cable. So plugging this straight into the MacBook now. 
and just give it a few seconds to ramp up. As you can see, the, the charging speed is ramping up. The lower number here is the wattage. We're expecting 60 something-ish watts because uh, the charger is rated for 65, 66 watts. Uh, 62, that's pretty good. We don't expect it to be exactly 65 because there are some losses uh, throughout this whole process, but that's pretty good. I would say that reaches its maximum capacity. Next, we have the 100 watt charger. Got it all plugged up already. Plug it into the power. And then we're going to plug in this charging meter to the MacBook again, like so. And look at it ramping up there. The bottom number is the one we, uh, we care about. It's at 30, 40 watts. It's ramping up pretty quickly, pretty steadily, which is pretty nice. Let's give it a couple of seconds to ramp up. It's already you know at 70-ish, 75-ish, still ramping up steadily. Looks like it's stabilized at about 80 watts. So after some testing, it turns out that to reach over 90 watts, you actually have to use the included MagSafe cable for a M1 MacBook Pro to be able to reach above 90 watts. So here we have the 100 watt charger from Haymix and plugging in to the MagSafe cable. Uh, just watching that number, the larger number there, uh, we'll flip it around in video in post, just so you can see the, uh, the numbers going up. But yep, it goes to 91 and then it kind of stabilizes there. Now the max is obviously 100. Now, again, there's some losses on the cable. So yeah, I think that's pretty close to the maximum output uh, of this charger. And similarly for the 120 watt charger here, we're gonna use the MagSafe cable and we're gonna put it into the computer. And again, I suspect we'll see something close to 90-ish watts. So ramping up nicely here, 84, uh, 85, and then straight to 90. This is going over, so it's 94 watts. Uh, looks like it's stabilizing at about, around about 94 watts here. So again, very close to its maximum 100, uh, pretty good. And then finally, as a baseline, this is the included 140 watt charger from Apple. So again, using the MagSafe cable there, let's see what this ramps up to. Uh, I suspect it's gonna get to about 130, 120 maybe. So it's already at 124, 130. So yeah, again, pretty close to 140. It's not reaching 140. So again, there's some losses in the cable, but yeah, pretty close to the maximum 140. Now, finally, let's do a quick size comparison between these three and the big boy Apple 140 watt charger here. Obviously the Apple one is a lot bigger. It's bigger than all of them, probably bigger than the 65 and the 100 watt one combined. Um, I think it's probably only fair to compare it with the 120 watt one from Haymix. Uh, again, 120 watt one is smaller. However, the 120 watt charger can only provide you a maximum of 100 watts output from a single USB-C port. So it's not directly comparable, but I think 100 watts is more than enough for most laptops these days. Now of the three Haymix chargers, I think the center one, the black one here, is probably the best buy uh, in terms of its form factor uh, and, and in terms of its power output. Now again, 100 watts from the black one uh, and the, the 120 one is also 100 watts maximum from a single port. So of the three, I think the black one has the best you know, middle ground. It also gives you three USB-C ports, whereas the 120 watt one gives you two USB-C ports. I think nowadays, most people have USB-C cables. So it kind of makes sense to me that the 100 watt one in the middle is the one to get. Anyway, I hope this was useful uh, and thanks for watching. These retractable prongs are great. You just flip them down and it's nice and compact. Why can't we get retractable prongs for the Australian one? You know, just, just bend them and then just flip them down, right? Can someone tell me why we haven't made that yet? So here is the 66 watt charger from Haymix. It's got two USB-C ports and this looks very familiar. Hang on. This is the same.